What's up you guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be installing a Running For Tacos rear diff skid plate onto my Tacoma. It's gonna be a simple install, it's something that you guys should purchase as well. And if you guys do end up wanting to go ahead and buy it, it's gonna be in the description box below along with a discount code. So let's go ahead and just dive right into it and I'll show you guys. So as you guys do know, I've already installed a front skid plate. I've installed the lower control arm uh, skid plates as well, a gas tank skid plate. And today we're gonna be installing this one on the rear diff. Uh, my diff has gotten hit a couple times already. So I don't think it'll puncture, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So that's why we're gonna be installing this today. And I ended up getting it in this color just because my front skid plates and everything like that is also the same color. So I wanted everything to match. And of course, you know, for Instagram pictures, it's gonna look awesome. But let me show you guys what comes with it. So of course, the one from Runner for Tacos, here it is, looks freaking awesome. It is a little bit on the heavy side. And what it's gonna come with is of course the diff skid. It's gonna come with two of these type of brackets that I have right here. It's gonna come with a bracket that looks like this. And then one that looks like this. It's also gonna come with a little hardware bag, which you wanna go ahead and take it out and spread all the hardware out. So that way you kind of know what you're working with. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then we'll get into installing it. But just to show you guys, as you guys can tell, this is the before, and then this is gonna be the after. I'll just kind of mock it up so you guys can see. So not only does it add protection, it actually looks freaking awesome. So it gives it that little extra touch, uh, knowing that it's your own vehicle. So let's get it. All right, you guys, so right now I'm gonna show you guys kind of how it goes before we install it on the truck, just so you guys get an idea. If you guys don't care for that, go ahead and skip until the next step when I'm actually putting it onto the vehicle. So of course, right here we have our diff skid. Uh, you're gonna notice, you're gonna wanna grab these two same brackets. Uh, these two are gonna go onto here. Of course, once it's installed onto the diff, for right now, I'm gonna show you guys off the truck though, just so you guys kind of see what I'm doing. So those two are gonna go there. And then you're also gonna notice right here in the hardware, I'm gonna have four of the same longer screws, four uh, nuts here, four lock washers and four washers. So that's the hardware that you're gonna use on each, on each hole here. So one there, one there, and then one there, one there. So that's what's gonna go there. So now next, you're gonna have, of course, these. So now you have these two right here. So these two are gonna go in this step like that, just like this. And you're gonna notice there's a bracket down here. That's gonna fit there. And the ones that you're gonna use here are gonna be looking right here on the hardware. So of course, we got four longer ones. You're gonna be using these two shorter ones. Two of the nuts, two lock washers, and two washers. Now to lock this in place right here, you're gonna notice on the end on this side, we have some washers, which is four of them. We have two locking nuts. In the baggie, it only comes with two locking nuts. That's what we're gonna use for attaching this. And then two of these uh, gold bolts, one here and one here. Now that I give you guys that little kind of update on what we're gonna be doing when it's on the truck, let's go ahead and now get started. So for tools, you're gonna need a 13 millimeter wrench and a ratcheting wrench as well. And then you're also gonna need a size of 14 millimeter wrench. So let's go ahead and now get started. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with this. Uh, technically, you can start off with the other brackets. I'm gonna start with placing this. I'll just leave it loosely so I can still adjust stuff. So coming right inside on this step here, like I said, you can either start from the front like I'm doing or from the back side doing that weird looking bracket that it comes with. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda see where it's gonna get placed just to kinda get an idea. All right, so now that we have an idea of where it's gonna go, I'm gonna hold it up with my knees just so it doesn't escape from me and run away. I'm gonna grab one of these brackets. Like I told you guys, it comes with two. I'll slide it right over. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab one of these and you wanna make sure the bolt goes up upwards. All right. And those are called carriage bolts, just in case you guys are curious. So right now that it's in its upward position, I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of the washers, lock washers, and then grab one of the nuts. And what you wanna do here 
just kind of hand tight for now. That's fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the same exact step on this side. You might not be able to see it on the camera, but if you remember, it loops around the diff. So it's going to be the same exact steps. So we'll grab one of the long bolts, put it in through that hole. To zoom you guys in closer, here's one. And right now we're doing the back side. So it's going to be like I had said, same steps. Go ahead and grab your washer first. Put it over the bolt. Go ahead and grab your lock washer. Put it over. Go ahead and grab your nut and just hand tie it in for now. You do not want to over tie it in just yet because then you will mess this up. And that's it. Focus on this side. I'm not grabbing the brake lines. We're going to put it right through underneath the brake lines so we don't you never want to put that bracket over these brake lines because you will snatch them when you go and tighten them so like i said underneath so now it's there and we're going to do the same step now gonna build this bracket which goes on the back side. So let's go back there right now. So now we're gonna be doing the back side of the diff, kind of what connects to the drive shaft. So looking right here, you're gonna notice these are the two brackets we're gonna be utilizing. And then noticing right here, the hardware, we're gonna be using the four smaller washers, the two gold bolts, and then the two gold nuts right here, which have a nylon locking system in them. As you can tell, there's the nylon in there. So we're gonna grab that and we're gonna attach this. So the way we're gonna do this is you're gonna kind of have to play with it a little. Um, to slide this in uh, you guys will see why right now but let's go ahead and start off with the top section first so basically what it's gonna go it's gonna go like this onto there and be putting like say a washer here a bolt through it and then on the opposite side you'll put another washer and then the locking nut and you'll do the same thing for the opposite side so let's grab this bracket first so you're gonna have to kind of play with it a little there it is and once it's in now we're gonna to need to grab this other bracket, which is gonna go right over, just like that. So, uh, what you wanna do is, let's go ahead and start off with the first top one, just so that way it doesn't fall. So I'm gonna grab one of the bolts, and I'll put a washer through the bolt. So, grabbing the bolt, put the washer, as you guys can tell. So I'm going to go ahead and now put the bolt and washer right through. So now that I have the bracket, I'm going to grab this one. And it's going to go this way. Just like that. And as you guys can tell, I have the bolt here and I put a washer through it. So I'm going to go ahead and now slide it through. And sometimes the brackets may have a little bit of powder coat, so that may make it a little harder. Go ahead and grab your wrench if that's the case. And just tie it in a way until you can access the bolt. All right, so now that the bolt is showing on the other side, as you guys can tell, now what you want to do is grab another washer, grab one of the nylon nuts, and go ahead and hand tighten for now. You do not want to over tighten here. Just hand tight, that's it. So let's now focus on the bottom half. Okay, so now we're going to attach that bottom half. So we're going to grab another bolt, another washer, put it right through, and we're going to do the same steps. Next, we're gonna grab our last bolts and we can finally start adjusting everything and tightening it down. So let me grab that now. All right, so for these bottom ones to attach the bracket to the actual skid, uh, you're gonna need to bring this over and you're gonna grab the shorter ones. As you guys can tell from the beginning, I had two shorter bolts, which are here, the carriage bolts. So you wanna grab one for now, put it right underneath, right through. And then grab a washer, put it on from the inside. I know it's gonna be hard to see on the camera. Lock washer, put it on. One of the nuts, hand tight in for now. So that's done. Now you wanna do the same thing. Go ahead and grab the other one, put it on the opposite side. And same thing. 
So now that we've somewhat hand tightened all the bolts, we're basically done. All we have left now to do is tighten them down all the way and now you guys can go off road with the peace of mind of having a diff skid plate. So that way you just don't hit anything and don't worry about breaking anything. So it's gonna be freaking awesome. Get yours, description box below. Uh, so yeah, so what you do here in this step, you now adjust everything, kind of mess everything around, uh, mess with everything I should say. And you just wanna align everything where it should be. In person, you guys will be able to see it physically can't really explain as to how uh, to align it but in person you'll be able to adjust stuff kind of look at it just base it off of you know the holes crevices and all that and these brackets up here you'll see there's outlines for it that's why they looked a little bit weird um, because they go into a certain slot uh, once you get that now you can go ahead and tighten down everything so the four bolts meaning the two bolts here and then the two bolts on the other side of the rear diff uh, those are gonna be a size 14 to go ahead and tighten down as far as this uh, bracket assembly here, uh, those two are gonna be a size 13 on either end. Um, so then you tighten those down. So that's what I'm gonna do right about now. Now that I've tightened down that bracket, uh, these brackets are now tightened, of course. Now it's all done. So let me show you guys. So as you can tell, now it looks freaking awesome. Just getting that color alone looks really good. Uh, the same color that I did get, of course, my front skid plate and then my runner for tacos, lower control arms, uh, skid plates as well. Uh, it's the same color, just so that way whenever I do go off-road, like I told you guys, it'll make for good pictures. It looks freaking awesome overall, as you guys can tell. And right now, let me show you guys from the outside of the truck so you guys can see how much this thing stands out. And like I said, it's not only for looks, this actually adds a lot of protection on your rear diff when you guys are hitting rocks or anything like that. I've been coming down the highway, as you guys can tell, and don't mind that top thing up there. It's just my best top. I just have the cover off, uh, but checking it out, when you guys are coming down the road, you're going to see that. Like 100% people down the road, they're going to see it. It stands out and it looks awesome. All right, you guys, so as you guys saw, that was a super simple install for a peace of mind. When you guys are off-road, you guys will protect your vehicle down the line by getting something like this. It looks awesome as well. Like I said, it's a cosmetic feature and protection. So if you guys do want it, description box below, link right here, discount code. So if you guys did enjoy today's quick video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Please feel free to subscribe.